top amazing world. Top 10 largest robberies in the world. Harry Winston. 5th of December 2008 Paris, France, $108 million. Four armed men entered the upmarket jewelry store, Jeweler to the Stars, shortly before closing time, three of whom were dressed in wigs and women's clothing. After cleaning out the display cases, they forced staff to loot the storage area, as the millions worth of jewels in the display cases just wasn't enough for these guys. They cleaned the place out, without firing a shot. Harry Winston stock fell 9% the next day after word of the robbery got out. The store had been robbed the previous year, where thieves netted 10 million euros worth of jewels. One would think that perhaps it would be cheaper hiring some armed guards than getting robbed on a yearly basis. 25 people have since been arrested for the crime, aged 22 to 67. Good to see there is no age discrimination among thieves. Antwerp Diamond Center 16th of February 2003 Belgium, $100 million plus. It is considered as the perfect robbery because they had to overcome 10 levels of high security and still managed to steal the diamonds without jump or an alarm and without leaving a trace. The booty has not appeared although the leader of the band, Leonardo Notar Bartolo was sentenced to 10 years in prison for stealing. In February 2003, Notar Bartolo was arrested and accused of having entered a two-story dome located under Diamantes Center Antwerp, Belgium, and stealing $100 million in diamonds, gold and jewelry. It was thought that the vault was impenetrable. Its ten levels of security including heat detectors, radar, magnetic zone, seismic sensor and a lock with key over 100 million combinations. An impossible robbery until today the police do not know how it was done. United California Bank. 24th of March 1972 USA, $30 million estate. Whilst $30 million may not seem like much compared to the other monsters on this list, bear in mind that this occurred back in 1972. By today's standards, it would be worth more than $100 million. At the time, it was a world record amount. A group of seven men from Ohio, led by Emildencia, broke into a branch of the United California Bank in Laguna Niguel, California, and looted the safe deposit vault. Due to the nature of safe deposit boxes and their undeclared contents, only an estimate is possible. They were eventually apprehended by the FBI. One of the men involved, Phil Christopher, has written an account of the robbery in the book Super Thief. I couldn't dig up too much information on this robbery as even the FBI website does not have an account of the robbery or investigation. Schiphol Airport Heist 25th of February 2005 Amsterdam, $118 million estate. This hall is the largest diamond heist in history. $118 million is the estimate, as many of the stones were uncut, which make them much harder to value and trace, whilst many of the other robberies on this list involve elegant planning and flawless execution, this was more akin to a smash and grab. Two weeks prior to the robbery, four men stole a KLM cargo truck and KLM uniforms to divert suspicion until the last moment, so that they could move around the secure areas of the airport unhindered. KLM is a major Dutch airline, due to the fact that they knew exactly which truck to target, police suspect an inside job. It was the second time in six months that the airport terminal had been breached. Several men have been arrested in connection to the robbery. British Bank of the Middle East 20th of January, 1976 Beirut, Lebanon, £25 million. The 1970s saw the rise of the PLO, a terrorist group led by Yasser Arafat whose aim was to carve out a homeland for the Palestinian people. They were at war. And wars cost money. Lots of it. Lebanon was in the midst of a civil war, and amid the chaos, 
a group associated with the PLO broke into a dozen banks, the largest of which was the British Bank of the Middle East. The group made off with a staggering £25 million worth of gold, jewels, stocks and currency, valued at much more than $100 million in today's money. The group blasted the wall of the bank that was shared with the Catholic Church next door. With the assistance of Corsican locksmiths, they opened the vault and plundered the contents over the course of two days. Some of the stocks were later sold back to their owners. Knightsbridge Security Deposit 12th of July 1987 UK, £60 million Valerio Vixi was one of the top most wanted people of Italy and it is when he decided to shift the venue of robberies. He came to England and then settled down there. During this time he opened a security vault in the most posh bank of England and on one day with a wish of inspecting the locker that he had, he went into the locker room and then got the better of the manager and the guards. Then he and his partner plundered all the wealth. The man with such mind died in the year 2000 during a gunfight with the Italian police. Baghdad Bank Robbery 12th of July 2007 Baghdad, Iraq, $282 million. Employees of the Dar es Salaam Bank showed up to work one morning to find that the doors were unlocked, the vault open, and all the money was gone. It is believed that three guards at the bank made off with a staggering $282 million in the swapping hall. Yes, more than a quarter of a billion dollars. That is more money than the entire economies of some small countries. It is unclear why the bank had such a large amount of cash on hand, but it was all in U.S. currency. It is suspected that the guards had the assistance of militias, to avoid detection at security checkpoints around Baghdad, as having a lazy $282 million in the boot of your car might raise suspicions. No one has been brought to justice for this brazen crime and none of the money has been recovered. Boston Museum. 18th of March 1990 Boston, USA, $300 million. This is not about banks and neither about the money. This heist is about amateur guards, amateur thieves and paintings worth more than $300 million. In the year 1990, two men armed up as police walked into a museum and handcuffed the two guards and then spent loads of time in selecting 12 pieces of art that is worth more than $300 million. Interesting they left behind many more valuable paintings. But nothing was heard off since then again. They never tried to sell the painting nor did try to return them. It has been said that the person returning the paintings will be given a prize of $5 million and will be saved from prosecution. City Bonds Robbery 2nd of May 1990 London, UK, £292 million this was probably the only heist in the history of the world where the thieves also did not know that they were going to be so much richer. In the year 1990, a 58-year-old messenger was taken in by a group of thieves who operated with knives. They might just have wished for a few thousand bucks at the most but ended up with bearing bonds worth £292 million. One person had been caught and one was found dead but the rest disappeared as nothing ever actually happened. Central Bank of Iraq. 18th of March 2003 Baghdad, Iraq, $1 billion. This the largest heist when compared to the money that is being talked off. Saddam Hussein sent his son to take out the bank in Baghdad from where he looted almost around $1 billion that was probably for the fight that he was putting in. After that incident, the U.S. troops started bombing the area and Mr. Hussein was killed a few days later. Around $650 were found out in the walls the house and the remaining $350 million is considered as an experimental loss in the accounts of the United States Army. Thank you for watching. Like this video and subscribe my channel.